One I'm uh, not quite as looking forward to, New Jersey, Minnesota, 59-60. Uh, it should be interesting still. Uh, Minnesota about minus 170 uh, in this game. We've got the total five and a half here, shaded to the under, about minus 125, minus 130 uh, in this hockey game. And we're going to give Alex the chance to start on this one because he's the one involved. And, of course, Minnesota, so close to where he is and resides these days. He's got a beat on the wild, and he's got a thing uh, about this game he wants to break down. Uh, Alex, Devils and Wild here tonight yeah you know I, I i got burned on the wild uh on saturday i was on them uh against washington and uh they wasted an absolute good performance by alex Stalock and then he made some huge saves but the the offense could not get things going uh whatsoever so you know now they come back home and it's it's funny to see them laying such a huge price i get i get it with new jersey you know there's a team that was looking hot you know early in the year and now they've lost uh, they've lost what now six of the last eight games, uh, and wrapping up this this road trip, it's a it's a tough spot here because I I, I want to go with price wise I want to go with New Jersey, but I really don't see where things are going to start clicking here for really either team. So the the way I was looking at this that had circled would be with the under. Uh, I was seeing some had fives and now we're seeing some five and a half. So uh, you know you might have to shop around for it, but I don't see where there's going to be a lot of scoring here. Jason Zucker is really the only guy for the Wild that's that's putting the puck in the net. He's got eight goals in his last ten games, but other than that, the rest of his offense is just kind of cycling around. Uh, you know, not doing a whole lot, taking a lot of. Uh, I think Danny, you mentioned it once before that about a lot of the perimeter shots that uh, the Wild are taking. They're not getting close to the net. They're not getting a lot of traffic in front, and uh, it seems to be you know hindering their offense from from time to time so i look at the under here with the devils in the wild tonight there we go finally mike took two seconds to unmute there i don't know why but there you go uh wild and devils for uh, alex uh very interesting game uh here i mean you've got new jersey that's uh, coming off a bad loss to a minute uh, winnipeg the other day five to two they did not play uh fantastic in that game you know they're going out west they're playing an early start maybe that had something to do with it but certainly you would think a bounce back spot here for or a t attempt to have a bounce back spot here for uh new jersey I'm certainly looking toward them as an underdog here in this game. I think it's worth it. That's not about my best bet on the show today, but I think New Jersey here, plus price, worth it. Anytime Minnesota's laying this kind of number, minus 170, minus 180, I'm interested to go against that. Uh, and New Jersey, I think, is in a decent spot here to bounce back. So I'm looking at New Jersey for sure as a dog that might have some bite tonight on this card, plus 150. Uh, so that'll be a bet of mine on tonight. Uh, Devils uh, at the underdog price here against Minnesota. Uh, and Minnesota, let's not forget the Devin Dubnik uh, shutout train. We were talking about that last week. It sort of ended now with a thud the last couple of games, the Nashville game, the Washington game. Uh, and now all of a sudden you start to wonder, you know, is Minnesota... Uh, Devin Dubnik's a weird goalie where when he's red hot and in a zone, He's fantastic, but when he gets out of that zone, we saw it earlier this season, he wasn't exactly playing crisp, sharp goaltending. Uh, that's not the time you want to be going against Minis or going on Minnesota uh, game after game when he gets out of that rhythm and gets out of that zone in between the pipes, especially laying this kind of price with Minnesota. So that's the tricky part and why I think New Jersey, after the way they lost against Winnipeg and the loss to Toronto, which was a tough one in overtime because they played toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Leafs in that game. Uh, after the two losses in a row here, I think they are really going to want to stop the bleeding here and I think they, they are live to do that. I think it's a one-goal game. They're in this one and have a chance to win it. So like Jersey in that one. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.